All right, so anime spoilers for Blue Lock. Um, it's one of the most underrated anime and manga out there right now. I mean, goddamn, there's a lot of trash out there right now in the anime scene. And I'm not going to pick out any particular shows because everyone has their taste. But if you're more selective about your stories and uh, tired of cliches and the same old type of anime over and over again... You know that Blue Lock is something special. It's not like any other sports anime before it. Because it's not about teamwork. It's not all about rainbows and sunshine. It's about becoming someone who can crush other people's dreams and stomp them underfoot and feel good about it. It's about becoming a competitive person, integrating your shadow in a Carl Jung style. And just becoming the absolute best in the world. Or at least striving to do that. Becoming at least one of the best in the world. Becoming a world beater. Someone who can lead Japan to be the greatest soccer team in the world. A striker with that ability. A player with the ability to carry a team. Two nationals and win. Not nationals. Two international cup and win. That's insane. And it's just something so unique. And it, it got a lot. Of, I'm so disappointed in Giguk and Trash Taste Highlights. Because they were talking trash about Blue Lock. Talking out their rear end about stuff they don't know. Because they like went up to episode 3 and said like, Oh, it's so unbelievable. You expect us to believe that someone ranked 299th out of 300 is going to become the best? Man, you can't even get to episode 7 to figure out that ain't true. That every division in Blue Lock were told that they were ranked in the lowest uh, quintile or whatever. Hat. I forget the exact math of it. But um, that they were all told, told that they were in the, like the lowest ranking, right? To make them more desperate. So the guy who's ranked 299th wasn't actually 299th. He's in like in the top 30 in actuality. Um, so yeah. It isn't one of those shows where a character who's unbelievably weak does something that's incomprehensible comes the strongest just through willpower or some, you know, you know, anime cliches or whatever. Um, and saying that it's slow-paced, Blue Lock is slow-paced. Man, this ain't no Dragon Ball Z. Dude, it's as fast-paced, if not way more fast-paced, than Haikyuu. I mean, I love Haikyuu. Haikyuu is... I can't really just say whether I think Haikyuu or Blue Lock is a better sports anime yet. I have to see more of Blue Lock. I mean, I have had, like, four seasons of Hi Haikyuu, and it, it, it is tremendous. And it's all about teamwork. Where Blue Lock is, like, the shadow version of uh, Haikyuu. And I, it's either the best sports anime of all time or the second best, hands down. So underrated. I'm going to start reviewing the episodes as they come out. Like, as soon as the episode comes out, after I watch it, I'm going to take some notes and do a little bit of analysis. But if you're not watching Blue Lock, check it out, man. If you like IQ, you're going to love Blue Lock. Because it is amazing. If you only watch one or two episodes and you're like, eh, I don't really know. Give it another five episodes, man. You're going to get so deep into this. You're going to read the manga. I read the manga up to, like, its most recent chapter. Because I was like, I need to see what's going to go happen. What's going to happen. I'm, I'm watching the anime even though I've read the manga. And a lot of times when I read the manga, like, with Inland Saga, I was like, I don't even really need to watch the anime. I'm not really watching the Vinland Saga, Vinland Saga anime because I watched... The, uh, I read the manga, I know what's gonna happen, so I'm, you know, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I didn't really like the, what happens in the future of Inland Saga, because I don't like the whole pacifist thing they're going for. It's like, man, I want something like Kingdom. I want a character that's going out there, killing motherfuckers, and not being one of those cliche anime characters, like, it's never, it's never good to kill, you should never kill anyone ever, never, 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 no matter what, under any circumstances, even if they're a serial killer and have murdered 1,000 million trillion people, they still are someone that you should respect their life and, and try to, you know, capture them peacefully. 
Mm. No, I don't want any of that nonsense, man. Give me Death Note. Give me Kingdom. Give me an anime where the character kills. And give me something historical where <laughs> the character is not living in the delusion of pacifism that, you know, has overridden, like, a lot of anime. You know, if I'm watching a sign in anime, something that's aimed at a mature audience, I don't want to see a pacifist character. I want to see a character that's, you know, an interesting character. I've seen enough good guys, you know, I want an anti-hero like the Punisher. I want someone out there killing the evil people ruthlessly. 